Afton Chemical Corporation USA, Harbin Engineering University China, and many more. In a Enabling environment manifested in the form of top of the line graduates serving in local and international markets. The institute has state of the art labs providing the students with hands on experience in real life engineering problems and their solutions. Over the years, the institute has been successful in producing thousands of top quality engineers and scientists serving at national and international level. GIK Institute has a simple infrastructure layout, yet profoundly unique and geometrical. The Aga Hassanabdi Auditorium, staggering library building, and the clock tower form striking architectural masterpieces. As an MS student here in GIK, I feel self-driven and ambitious because it always engages us with different technology around the world and it provided us enthusiastic research environment by their 24-7 open door pol policy. And yes, uh, the conduct of faculty member is really, really appreciable and this is a great and memorable experience for me here in GIK. The campus is composed of seven faculties in total, each hemmed in beautiful architectural buildings. The faculties include mechanical, material, electrical, computer science, engineering sciences, chemical and management sciences, each equipped with the state-of-the-art laboratories. GIK Institute providing us pretty much scholarship to pursue my education without getting worried about our financial status. And I am happy and proud to be the part of GIK Institute. In August 2019, Prime Minister Imran Khan visited the GIK Institute and inaugurated the new academic block, contrived with the substantial funding of the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa government.
Within the vicinity of GIK campus, the Akuram Incubator Center, established in the collaboration with the KPK government, provides opportunities to the young engineers and entrepreneurs to foster their ideas into commercialized products. At GIK, we provide a cognizance of all expediencies to our faculty, staff and the students, such as staff residences and hostels, security surveillance, cafeteria, as well as campus market where the provision of all necessary consumer items are ensured. Besides, we also have a medical center where we provide free of cost hospitalization and round the clock medical emergency services to our staff members, their families and the students. GIK has earned the status of being number one university in Pakistan in the category of quality education by time higher education in its ranking for the year 2021. GIK Institute has established practice of honing its students not only in the realm of academics but also in the co-curricular arena. For this, 29 professional and non-professional societies have been operating within the vicinity of the campus for the students to participate and manifest their skills. They hold one or two events every semester, with participants being invited from all parts of the country. I, as Prorector Academics, represent both students and faculty, and our students and faculty have won laurel all over the world. We stood 30th in STG4 ranking by Times Higher Education, uh, and uh, that was competed by almost 700 universities all over the world. During the COVID pandemic, the GIK Institute endeavored to make the campus safe for its community by imposing two complete lockdowns, ensuring strict compliance of the SOPs and disinfecting the wide expanse of the campus. These measures have ensured a striking testament of our vision of providing a safe and secure environment to our students, where they can freely roam around and carry out their everyday tasks effectively. In order to augment the co-curricular activities in the institute, a sports complex is located in close proximity of the students' hostels. The complex is an augmented required paraphernalia and hosts various events every year. GIK College is situated within the vicinity of the campus where effective educational services are imparted in the wards of the GIK community till intermediate level. Over the years, the Institute has entered into various collaborative ventures with various top-of-the-line national and international institutes. Organizations such as Huawei, Northern Illinois University USA, Afton Chemical Cooperation USA, Harbin Engineering University China, and many more. In essence, GIK Institute's vision has always been to promote the furtherance of higher education in the field of engineering and making its graduates ready to compete with international standards. The achievements by its alumni are a true embodiment of perseverance, outstanding leadership skills and their never-ending determination to excel in their professional domains. Twenty-five years since the inception of GIK Institute, it still stands out as the pinnacle of academic excellence in the field of engineering in Pakistan. GIK Institute has been a torchbearer in providing a fair ground for professional engineers to hone their skills both in technical 
and management domain. In 1988, SOPREST, the Society for Promotion of Engineering Sciences and Technology was registered as the parent body of the GIK Institute. SOPREST laid the groundwork for GIK Institute and furthered its cause. GIK Institute offers 12 BS, 9 MS and 7 PhD programs including the latest BS program in Artificial Intelligence. A staggering number of professional engineers and their role in the global industry has made GIK Institute a place of excellence, which is why it has recently been included in the Washington Accord. By achieving such milestones, the Times Higher Education ranked GIK Institute 24th out of 457 universities for its impact in the relation to the United Nations Sustainable and Development Goals. GIK has a strong scientific base that has been developed over three decades owing to the contributions of highly committed faculty, mostly foreign qualified. The institute has one of the best foreign qualified faculty in the country, teaching advanced subjects to further elevate the standards of productive engineering and business in Pakistan. It attracts students from all over Pakistan and abroad to bring their academic goals to fruition. The institute endeavors to provide an enabling environment manifested in the form of top-of-the-line graduates serving in local and international markets. The institute has state-of-the-art labs providing the students with hands-on experience in real-life engineering problems and their solutions. Over the years, the institute has been successful in producing thousands of top quality engineers and scientists serving at national and international level. GIK Institute has a simple infrastructure layout, yet profoundly unique and geometrical. The Aga Hassanab the Auditorium, staggering library building, and the clock tower form striking architectural masterpieces. As an MS student here in GIK, I feel self-driven and ambitious because it always engages us with different technology around the world and it provided us enthusiastic research environment by their 24-7 open door policy. And yes, uh, the conduct of faculty member is really, really appreciable and this is a great and memorable experience for me here in GIK. The campus is composed of seven faculties in total, each hemmed in beautiful architectural buildings. The faculties include Mechanical, Material, Electrical, Computer Science, Engineering Sciences, Chemical and Management Sciences, each equipped with the state-of-the-art laboratories. GIK Institute providing us pretty much scholarship to pursue my education without getting worried about our financial status. And I am happy and proud to be the part of GIK Institute. In August 2019, Prime Minister Imran Khan visited the GIK Institute and inaugurated the new academic block, contrived with the substantial funding of the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa government. Within the vicinity of GIK campus, the Akhuram Incubator Center, established in the collaboration with the KPK government, provides opportunities to the young engineers and entrepreneurs to foster their ideas into commercialized products. At GIK, we provide a cognizance of all expediencies to our faculty, staff, and the students, such as staff residences and hostels.
Chancellor to mm -hmm. declare the convocation open. I declare the convocation open. The program for academics of the GIK Institute, Professor Dr. Vaseem Ahmed Khan, is invited to deliver the welcome speech. Honorable Chief Guest, His Excellency Dr. Arif Angli, President of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Executive Director Softness, Mr. Shiki Durrani, Members, Board of Governors and Executive Committee, Director of GIT Institute, Deans, Faculty Members, Excellencies, Guests, Value Parents, Regulating Students, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum. It is indeed a matter of great honor and pleasure for me to send over my guest 
a most cordial welcome to the 25th convocation of the Hulab Sakhar Institute. We feel happy and inspired by such a bright array of many distinguished ladies and gentlemen whose presence has been your and this July ceremony. We are especially grateful to our honored Chief Guest, Excellency Dr. Arif Ali, President of Pakistan and Chancellor J.M. Institute, who has very kindly found time to preside over the foundation. Sir, we are very grateful to you for finding time to give with us and confer degrees and award badges to the graduates of 2021. Honorable Chief Guest, ladies and gentlemen, as we all know that COVID-19 pandemic has created the largest disruption of the education system in human history. Closures of institutions, social distancing, and restrictive movement policies have significantly disturbed traditional educational practices. Though we are still trying to work on though we are still working on online teaching to make it creative, innovative, and interactive uh, through user-friendly tools. Dear graduating students, we are living in a world which is in a state of perpetual fast. If Pakistan is to survive as an honorable member of the global community, we will have to keep pace with the rapidly advancing world. The secret of survival in the competitive new century of pandemic lies in acquiring, generating, accumulating, sharing, and using knowledge for progress and development with new style. Ladies and gentlemen, tentating the opportunity of the event at, at hand, let me uh, allow me to give a short resume of the current standing of the institute. The GIA Institute. Uh, uh, the GIA Institute of Engineering Sciences and Technology ranked between 600 and 800 globally in the Times Higher Education University Impact Ranking 2021, while maintaining a prominent position among Pakistan universities. In sustainable development goals, SDG4, quality education, GIA Institute, Institute secured overall position of 30 globally and top of all Pakistani universities. Uh, in the SDG1, no poverty, JIT Institute achieved overall position of 200, uh, between 200 and 1 and 300 globally and stood third of all Pakistani universities. JIT Institute currently offers 12 bachelor, 10 masters, and 7 doctor of philosophy programs. JIT engineers our outcome-based education will be combined. Therefore, our graduates enjoy several benefits, including global mobility. The total number of impact factor general obligation was 120, with the total impact factor of 314.6, up from 49.7 in the preceding year. Mr. President, our current undergraduate enrollment is around 1939. Uh, the number of full time or post graduate students is 219. Our annual intake is around 600. About 5,654 students have already graduated, including 554 masters and 74 PhDs. There are 114 faculty members currently serving in the institute. 85 percent have PhD degree from the best universities for a while. GIT dedicates more than 10% of its revenue each year for financial help to the deserving undergraduate students on a need of merit basis. Postgraduate fellowships are in addition. The scholarships are also provided by provincial governments, governments, private enterprises, individuals, and alumni. Around 183 students out of the total 550 are totally or partially sponsored. Carry a fair and discipline open house are organized every year. There is a strong emphasis on research, on the substantial grants are provided by the Institute. Research grants are also received from external agencies on a competitive basis. Last year, we had 46 funded projects done. Several government of understanding were signed with the leading national and international higher education institutions and research and development organizations. Along with, academic excellence, along with academic excellence, 
we reversely promote extracurricular activities. Thirdly, different student societies, both of technical and non-technical nature, provide ample opportunity to engage the students according to their interests and liking. This honorable president, ladies and gentlemen, it will be less than honest if I do not place on record the contribution made by our faculty in achieving the result in this hard and hard situation created by COVID-19, ensuring that the principles of teaching remain uncompromised. Dear faculty, education must inculcate certain idealism and a vision to see how our future will shape. Dear parents, our graduating student, it gives me great pleasure to congratulate you all on the success of your boards. Dear graduating students, I hope and expect the graduates of this institute to become members of honest, committed, competent, and trained professional to take the task of national deconstruction. My dear young friends, great responsibility devolves on your shoulders. You are the leaders of Pakistan. In the end, I thank the Honorable Chief Guest, His Excellency Dr. Ali Mukli, President of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, once again, for spending time to invite us all to this auspicious gathering. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Director of the Lamaza Khan Institute, Sardar Aminullah Khan, is now invited to address the gathering. Thank you. Honorable Chief Guest, the President, Dr. Ari Erdi, Chancellor, GIA Institute, and President of the South Republic of Mars, members of the Board of Governors and Executive Committee, Executive Director Sophus, Mr. Shikri Duran, distinguished guests, peers, students, and their parents, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum. On behalf of the IIT Institute, I am pleased to welcome you to the 25th convocation. It is my privilege to welcome on the President of Pakistan for gracing this occasion. Thank you very much, sir. At the outset, please allow me to felicitate the graduating students for their extraordinary accomplishments. The next day of journey, they will be taking knowledge and professional skills to make significant contributions to the society. Your achievements may not be enough in today's increasingly challenging and dynamic world. Your success will certainly depend on the attitude you develop while you hold in your hands the dignity of GIA as your future professional success. Respected Chancellor, we have history of producing the best engineers and designers with huge human and physical infrastructure. They excel in respective fields and are sought after in life within and abroad that includes 150 LR working in Silicon Valley alone. Last year, the Institute formalized an agreement with Huawei to launch a BSON in artificial intelligence, the first of its kind outside China, and guided by UNESCO and renowned universities in global forum on ICT education. In the line with the policy, to catch up the global trends and in pursuit of excellence, DIA has launched BS in data sciences in Fall 2021. The world in its promised digital transformation journey requires a lot of data analytical support, managing storage, and leveling the complex data operations, high performance computing and informed decision making warranting such specialized projects. 
Bioactivity program is under consideration of the MGQ. Ladies and gentlemen, this year has been very productive for us. Our faculty became a well deserved position in the academic and research arena. They secured memberships in the international technical institutions in US, Turkey, China, and South Africa, acquired research grants and postdoc positions. Teams in readiness of the GIA represented Pakistan at design, build, fly competition held in the USA and secured the second position among the world and first in Asia. At the proposal phase, we can, I repeat, we can, MIT, UG, Berkeley, and Stanford with many more distinction as we mobilize resources to undertake the improvements to education in the world despite multiple challenges. Science and use of technology are powerful tools to address pressing issues of the 21st century, such as climate change, emerging distance, and outreach to upcoming technologies through innovation despite being discussed and over time in experience, capacity, students, and programs. With high standing in the field of quality education worldwide, we come across these challenges requiring substantial resources to expansion and reduction of technologies for building agile and other infrastructure worthy of its position. Hundreds of startups continue to converge here to extend frontiers of knowledge and impact education to the next generation. It has been regarded to plan of ranking as number one university in Pakistan in quality education with a few more distinctions. It reflects a starting testament to the components of our faculty and quality of work fueled under the innovative long term trajectory of our institute. Our journey towards innovation and quality is starting to increase the role of science and technology for the society. I owe you that of gratitude to the faculty in pursuit of excellence under the leadership of Director the Academics, Professor Dr. Basim, and Deans and Health of Departments, who were instrumental in distinguishing the DRK as active promoter of science and technology and operate an open up new horizon in creative scholarly endeavor and ensuring defined achievements. I must also mention the gratitude to the guidance and support which we always receive from President Sotas, Executive Director, and all members of the Board of Governors and the Executive Committee and alumni. I thank them for facilitating our work, sir. The general support of the federal and provincial governments, particularly every government, the National ICT Program, Pakistan Science Foundation, Higher Education Commission, Corporate Sector, Alumni, and others has been valuable, very valuable for us. Dear students, once again, my highest congratulations go out for the degrees and the awards for academic performance. Your proud parents also need deep appreciation for their efforts and sacrifices in pursuit of a better future of the children. I'm confident your future pursuits will be motivated by your tenacity and desire to explore the unknown with a challenging spirit as a driving force for an impact in every imaginable world of science. The Institute would like to 
the blended learning in the future. The world of JV Ballard may be kept in mind. He said, science and technology multiply around us. To an increasing extent, they dictate the language in which you speak and think. I will use these languages or we remain mute. अगर हमने साइंस और टेक्नोलॉजी को सही तौर पर न अपनाया तो हम बुरे तरह रह जाएंगे ये अवेयर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ जेएलए स्टैंड अप फॉर बीइंग डीपली मोटिवेटेड इंप्रेसिव एंड डिजायर्स ऑफ मेकिंग अ डिफरेंस इन द एरिया ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी द इंस्टीट्यूट मेक्स अ डिलीवरेड एफर्ट्स एंड डिसेमिनेटिंग टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ स्किल टू नॉलेज अमंग In addition, our students have a great opportunity offered by extraordinary times to make a contribution to the country and indeed to retire humanity. Respected President, we are all aware that the government of Pakistan is committed to uplifting the education needs of our young population and greatly appreciates your leadership role and passion in pursuing a vision for a connected, intelligent, and digital Pakistan. This will also assess our economic growth, which in turn will provide greater employment opportunities, especially the educated and employed, which is a major issue today. On behalf of the JIA and the Board of Governors, I would like to show you, sir, that this is important that this is shared for today. Before I end, I wish to place on record the excellence, the care, and the dedication of our faculty and staff. For enhancing the academic and research profile of JIT Institute across Pakistan and abroad, I believe we owe it to ourselves and to others in the higher education sector to use this moment to make a case for the provision of additional resources for research and development. We will continue to raise our level of expertise so that we can be the best of the times. Quality universities like ours. Not only assist in producing future scientists and engineers, but also strive to maintain a rich ecology of thought and study in the field of engineering sciences and important designs that are generated. I end by congratulating all the graduating students and the medal winners for their achievements, which would not have been possible without the support of your parents and your teachers. Thank you. Our degrees are to be conferred on the graduating students of the GIA. Honorable Chancellor, may I request to confer degrees on the graduates of the GIA Institute, the Proctor Academic. Is advised to provide his present candidates. Professor Dr. Basim Ahmed Khan, Proctor Academics, is requested to present candidates to the Chancellor for the conferment of degrees. Honorable Chancellor, I, the Proctor Academics, have the honor to present to you candidates who have completed all the requirements and other obligations. For the confirmation of the degree of Bachelor of Science and Master of Science in various disciplines. On the recommendation of the Prorector Academics and by virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor of Ghulam Ishaq Institute of Engineering Sciences and Technology, I now confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science and Master of Science in your respective disciplines and admit you to all the rights. Privileges and honors pertaining thereunto. Now the degrees are to be conferred on the PhD scholars of the GIK Professor Dr. Basim Ahmed Khan, Pro Director Academics, is requested to present candidates to the Chancellor for the confirmation of degrees. 
Honorable Johnson, I, Director Daniels, have the honor to present you candidates who have completed all the requirements and other obligations for confirmation of the degree of Dr. Plusky in various disciplines. On the recommendation of the Prorector Academics and by virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor of Ghulam Isaf Institute of Engineering Sciences and Technology, I now confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in your respective disciplines and admit you to all the rights, privileges, and honors appertaining thereunto. I would now like to request our Honorable Chancellor to award the degrees to the PhD scholars. Professor Dr. Basim Ahmed Khan, Academics, is now requesting to announce and present PhD scholars. I will now announce the names of the candidates for the Board of Degree of Philosophy degrees. With the beginning of computer science and engineering, the recipient of Doctor of Philosophy degree is Dr. Uzma, under the supervision of Dr. Zahari. She may please come to the stage and receive her degree. With the beginning of computer science and engineering, the recipient of Doctor of Philosophy degree. Thank you. 
the back of 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 the back in the Faculty of Engineering Sciences, the recipient of the gold medal for the Bachelor of Degree in Engineering yeah, is Gina Mohammed Shahidan, who is in the Faculty of Engineering Sciences. In the Faculty of Engineering, the recipient of the gold medal for the Bachelor of Degree in Chemical Engineering is Gina Josefa Kamran, who is in the Faculty of Engineering Sciences. The faculty of mechanical engineering, the resident of the gold medal for a bachelor degree in engineering, is engineer Daniel Jokio, who made the of the the of the in the Department of Engineering Sciences, the recipient of the gold medal for the bachelor degree is Ms. Akifa Bill Aweis Chima. She may be the Department of Engineering The Institute has established two gold medals for students with outstanding performance in GS degree. The Ghulam Nizam Khan Medal is awarded for the best academic performance among all the graduates of the institute. The Khan Nizam Medal is awarded for the best overall performance among all the graduates of the institute. The institute has also established two gold medals for outstanding performance in the MS program, master's program, one in engineering program, one in sciences program. Uh, I will now announce the recipient of these gold medals and invite them to come to the stage. The recipient of the Ulam Sahan gold medal is in GPSG of the market. They come to the stage. <laughs> the recipient of the Kardas gold medal is in GPSG of the Menahan Tarek. She may come to the stage and receive her medal. The recipient of the gold medal in the graduate programs and sciences is Mr. Suleiman Khan. He made up the stage in the speech medal. The recipient of the gold medal. The recipient of the gold medal in the graduate programs in engineering is the junior Bakar Rahman. They come to the city and see the matter.
کہ انسان پڑھ لکھ کر ہی انسان رہے لہذا میرے کلچر میں ہمارے کلچر میں میرے ملک میں ہمارے مذہب کے اندر اس کی بڑی اہمیت ہے کہ علم کے ساتھ ساتھ اس کی تربیت بھی چلو اگر ملک کے اندر ہمدردی نہیں ہوگی تو وہ علم جو صرف جیب کے لیے حاصل کیا جائے گا اس کو عالم پہنچا تو دے گا تھا طلبا مگر اس کی اہمیت معاشرے کے اعتبار سے زیادہ نہیں دوسری میں تو لہذا میں والدین کو مبارکباد دینا چاہتا ہوں دوسری مبارکباد اور شکریہ آپ خود بھی دیں گے میں بھی دینا چاہتا ہوں کہ آپ کے اساتذہ اساتذہ نے یہ کام کیا کہ علم کا راستہ ہو علم دیا بھی پہنچایا بھی اور اس کا راستہ بھی دیا اور جتنا ہم نے آپ کو دیا ہے یہ زندگی میں جو آپ علم حاصل کریں گے اس سے بہت کم ہوگا مگر وہ منطق آپ کو سکھا دیے جس کی بنیاد پر آپ علم حاصل کریں گے تو وہ راستہ علم ہے کوئی علم دنیا میں بہت کبھی اس کو کم مت سمجھیے اور اپنے آپ کو بہت بڑا عالم مت سمجھیے ابھی شاید کبھی بھی نہ ہو کہ علم کائنات کے اندر انسان کے بس کے باہر ہے ایک دماغ تو کب کا اس بات پہ عبور نہیں کرتا سخرات اور افلاطون کے زمانے سے ارستو کے زمانے سے اس بات کا امکان تھا اس زمانے میں کہ کچھ علم ایک ہی انسان کے دماغ پر وہ بن سبھی بھی بن جائے وہ میتھمیٹیشن بھی بن جائے مگر اس کے بعد اب یہ کیفیت کا امکان بالکل نہیں ہے علم اتنا ہے دوسرے پاکستان دنیا کے انسانوں کے بس کے اندر اب نہیں ہے تو لہذا راستے ہی دکھا جائے گا اور آپ میں سے ہونے ہاتھ وہ ہوں گے جو اس راستے پر چلتے رہیں گے اور ہوتی ہے جوان تو ساتھ اللہ کا شکریہ جنہوں نے یہ کام کیا اور پھر آخر میں اس یونیورسٹی کا کمال ہے میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ اچھی شورت کی حامل ہے اور جن کے نام پر ہے وہ ان کی تصویر بھی بہت 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 جو پاکستان کے بہت بڑے بہتلات شکریہ تھے اللہ تعالیٰ اور ایک انسٹیٹیوشن تھے جس کا پاکستان کی بہت ساری چیزوں کے اندر بہت بڑا رول ہے وہ صدر بنے اور صدر بننے سے پہلے اس ادارے کے بارے اور ادارے کے حوالے سے ہم میں کچھ اور بات کی کروں گا کہ دنیا بڑی دیکھنے سے بدل رہی ہے ان چیزوں کے بعد میں ان طالب علموں سے مخاطب ہو جاؤں تو اچھا ہے پاکستان کی خوبصورت کرنے سے پہلے علم کے ساتھ معاشرے کا در اور علم کے ساتھ ہی بھی ضروری ہے میں نے بہت سارے لوگوں کو دیکھا ہے جو علم حاصل کر کے ان میں غرور پیدا ہو جاتا ہے اور ان کو پھر اندازہ بھی نہیں رہتا کہ علم کتنا حقیر تھا جس کی بنیاد پر ان کو غرور پیدا ہو اگر معاشرے میں آپ نے اثر رکھنا ہے تو ان کے ساری رہ جاتے ہیں اور ایک حضرت موسیٰ کی دعا ہے جب اللہ تعالیٰ نے حکم دیا حضرت موسیٰ کو کہ تم فیرون کے دربار میں جاؤ اور اس سے بات کرو تو حضرت موسیٰ بہت دھگ رہا ہے کیونکہ حق کی خاطر انہوں نے ایک آدمی کو بھی مصر کے اندر مارا تھا تو گھبرائے گی گرے گی اور اللہ تعالیٰ اس نے ان کو ہمت بڑھائی اور یہ کہا کہ میں تم کو ساتھ عجوبے بھی دوں گا تمہاری طاقت بڑھانے کے لئے اس میں ایک اسائے موسیٰ تھا ایک یہ تھا کہ تم اپنا ہاتھ جب بغل میں ڈالو گے تو وہ روشن ہو جائے گا اور بھی اور بھی سی ہے پھر بھی وہ گھبراتے رہے اور ان کی روان میں کچھ لکنت تھی بائیلوں میں کہا کہتے ہیں کہ حضرت حاضر کی روان میں تھوڑی سی لکنت البتہ قرآن ظاہر ہے سب سے زیادہ صحیح کتاب ہے بائیلوں کی مدد بھی گئی اس کے اندر حضرت موسیٰ صلی اللہ تعالیٰ سے دعا کرتے ہیں اور وہ دعا میں آپ چاہتا ہوں کہ آپ بھی 
ذہن نشین کر لیجیے کہ وہ انسان کی زندگی بھر کی دعا ہے اور خاص طور پر اساتذہ کے لیے خاص طور پر لوگ میں آج زندگی حاصل کی کیونکہ آپ کا تعلق دنیا سے تو آپ کی زبان کی بنیاد پر ہے نا کسی نے آج ہی میں پڑھا تھا امام جعفر سادی سے پوچھا کہ میں تبلیغ کرنے جا رہا ہوں تو انہوں نے جواب دیا اتنا خوبصورت جواب انہوں نے جواب دیا کہ کوشش یہ کرنا کہ میں تمہیں زبان کے ذریعے تبلیغ نہ کرنی پڑے کتنی بڑی بات یعنی آپ نے کردار سے آپ کو تبلیغ کرتا ہے اپنے کردار سے جو دنیا میں جاتا ہے تو لوگوں کو بتاتا ہے تو حضرت موسا نے دعا کی اور اس کا معنی یہ ہے کہ اللہ علیہ السلام بول رہے میری زبان کے اندر وہ طاقت ہے کہ جو میں کہوں لوگوں پر اس بات کا اثر ہو تو یہ آپ زندگی میں اگر یہ کسی نے سیکھ لیا اور میں نہیں سمجھتا ہوں کہ نبیوں کے علاوہ کسی ایک شخص کے اندر اتنی طاقت ہے اس بات کو سیکھ لیں چاہے وہ خاندان میں ہو چاہے وہ بھائیوں میں ہو بہنوں میں ہو چاہے وہ قبیلوں میں ہو اور چاہے وہ قوموں میں ہو اور آپ نے اس حوالے سے دنیا کو بدلتے دیکھا کہ جہاں جھوٹی خبروں کی بنیاد پر لاکھوں انسان مارے جاتے ہیں وہ دنیا بھی آپ نے آپ نے اپنی نظروں سے دیکھی پرانی بات تو کریں گے اللہ تعالیٰ قرآن شریف میں فرماتا ہے کہ اگر تمہیں کسی بات پر شبہ ہو تو اپنے نبی سے کنفرم تو کر لو اس بات کو اور آج کل کی دنیا میں کوئی کنفرمیشن کی ضرورت نہیں ہے ایک مسجد آپ کے پاس آیا آپ نے فٹافٹ دوسری طرف بھیج دیا لہذا کمیونیکیشن ویپنز آف ماس ڈسٹرکشن کتنا بڑا فیک نیوز ہے جس کی بنیاد پر لاکھوں انسان اور کروڑوں لوگ تباہ ہو رہے ہیں تو یہ نہیں کہہ رہے ہیں کہ زبان کے اوپر قابو رکھو محبت کے ساتھ اپنے معاشرے میں رہو اور اس قوم کا درد پانا اگر آپ نے تعلیم حاصل کی ہے تو اس میں کتنوں کا کنٹریبیوشن ہے پیسے لے کر نہیں حاصل کی پیسہ تعلیم نہیں پہنچاتا کتنے لوگوں کا کنٹریبیوشن ہے آپ کے ملک کا اس کے اندر کنٹریبیوشن تو اس معاشرے کا درد اگر آپ نے نہیں پایا اور صرف کمائی کی یقیناً کمائی سے دنیا کمائی کریں دنیا پڑی ہے روزی کمانے کے لیے کمائی کریں مگر معاشرے کا درد اپنے خاندان کا درد اپنے بزرگوں کا درد کبھی نہ چھوڑے یہ ایک بنیادی درخواست ہے جو میں سمجھتا ہوں آج جب آپ نکلے ہیں آپ کو کچھ اوزار ملے ہیں دنیا بنانے کے پھر میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ یہ ان کی ساری یہ جو تربیت ہوئی ہے اچھا اخلاق اور معاشرے کا درد یہ وہ عناصر ہیں جو آپ کو تکمیل کی طرف لے جا سکتے ہیں تکمیل مکمل انسان نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اور نبیوں کے علاوہ کوئی بھی نہیں تو لہذا یہ نصیحتیں آپ کے لیے اس وجہ سے ضروری ہیں کہ شاید ہی موقع ایسا ہو کہ کچھ باتیں ذہن میں رہ جائیں حالانکہ اسی سے ملتی جلتی نصیحتیں آپ کے بزرگ آپ کے اس اساتذہ سب لوگ کرتے رہے مگر اس کو اہمیت دینا اب میں آپ سے گفتگو کرتا ہوں کہ یہ پاکستان آپ سے کیا چاہتا ہے اور پاکستان خود کہاں جا رہا ہے اور ایک اچھے موڑ پر میں اور آپ آج پاکستان کی موڑ دیتے ہیں وہ اچھا موڑ کیا ہے وہ اچھا موڑ کا تعلق آپ کے علم سے بھی ہے میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ ایک نالج اکانومی کا زمانہ آ رہا ہے نالج کی معیشت نالج کی دنیا کا زمانہ آ رہا ہے اور یہ جو وقت تھا پرانا کہ جس کے اندر کتابیں لکھی جاتی تھیں اور اساتذہ کے پاس ساری کتابیں ہوتی تھیں اور لہذا طالب علم ہجرت کر کے 
اس حکومت نے بھی اس کی بات کی لوگوں نے انڈیویجلی کہا کہ جی یہاں ریزیڈینشیل ہاؤس میں بھی ریزیڈینٹ ہاؤس میں بھی پرائم منسٹر ہاؤس ہر جگہ بھی کی اس سے قوم کی تربیت نہیں بدلتی مگر اخلاق ذہنیت بدلتی ہے جو کام میں خود کروں گا جس طرح سے ابھی بھی یہاں بھی اپنے گھر میں بھی جیسے کرتا تھا ہر جگہ بجلی چل رہی ہوتی ہے تو کوئی نہیں ہوتا تو میں بٹن دبا بند کرتا رہتا ہوں ایک قومی ہیبٹ بن جاتی ہے کہ فضول خرچی نہیں کرنی اب دنیا کے اندر آپ تو فیشن آ گیا فیشن یہ آ گیا کہ گلوبل اکانومی ہے ڈونٹ فیس فیشن سے بہت پہلے میرے نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اس بات کی ہدایت کرتے تھے اپنے کپڑوں کو رفو کرتے تھے ہاتھ دھونے کے لیے وضو کرنے کے لیے بھی کہتے تھے کہ کفایت شادی کرو دریا کے پاس بھی ہو تو فیس نہیں کرو جو اس دور کی چیزیں ہیں گلوبل وارمنگ اور یہ کیفیت کہ دنیا آپ کا فضن نہیں برداشت کر سکتی اس کا اگر احساس ہو تو پھر بے ایمانی بے ایمانی کے خلاف قومیں بدنا ہوں گے ترقی ہے قومیں بدنا ہوں گے میں نام نہیں ہوں تو قومیں بدنا ہوں گے اور جہاں بے ایمانی نہیں ہوتی وہ قومی شہرت دیکھتی وہ قومیں نام پیدا کرتی ہیں اور ان قوموں کے اندر جب لوگ آتے ہیں تو اس امانت داری کو دیکھتے ہوئے وہاں پر تجارت کرتے ہیں انویسٹمنٹ کرتے ہیں یہاں ہمیں انصاف کے ساتھ ملے گا اور جہاں کرپشن ہوتا ہے تو وہاں پر دوسری بات میں آپ سے کرپشن ٹھیک کرنا ضروری تھا اور ہے اور جاری رہے گا تاکہ ہم جاری رہے گا کیونکہ جب اللہ تعالیٰ نے شیطان کو بھی پیدا کر دیا تو انسان کو بس سے وہ ڈالتا رہے گا تیسری چیز صحیح فیصلے کرنا اور صحیح فیصلے بے انتہا زندگی میں یاد رکھیے گا کہ آپ کی ترقی کے اندر ترقی صرف پیسوں کی نہیں انسان کے اپنے دماغ کی اور اپنے معاشرے کی اپنے گھر کی بھی ترقی ہوتی ہے خوشی سب چیزوں کو میں ترقی میں ڈالتا ہوں آج آج کل کی دنیا کے حوالے سے تھوڑا سا ہٹ کر سوچیے کہ ترقی کیسے بھی مطلب نہیں کیے تو ترقی کے لیے صحیح فیصلے اچھا میں آپ کو دو مثالیں دیتا ہوں ایک کا تعلق غلام احساس خان یونیورسٹی سے ہے اور ایک کا تعلق آج کے زمانے سے تو پہلے غلام احساس خان یونیورسٹی کے تعلق سے آپ کو بتا ہوں کہ اچھے فیصلے کے شکر جب انڈیا نے ہندوستان نے ایک سو کال پیسفل نیوٹر ڈیوائس ایکسپلور کیا تھا انیس سو چوہتر میں تو بھٹو صاحب نے ایک میٹنگ بلائی ملتان میں اور لوگوں سے یہ کہا کہ بھائی ہمیں بھی قابو کرنا پڑے گا ایک ڈیٹرنٹ ایک نیوکلیئر ڈیٹرنٹ انیس سو چوہتر یا پچہتر کی بات ہو گئی اور وہاں پر انہوں نے کہہ ہی کہہ کہ یورینیم انڈیچمنٹ کی طرف جائیں گے راہ رضا یورینیم ری پراسس ہے تو جب سیونٹی فور یا سیونٹی فائیو کی بات ہو ایٹی تھری کے اندر آئی وہ تو ہے مجھے ایک سال انہوں نے بڑے ذمہ دار تھے انہوں نے یہ بات کی جب آپ نے کتابوں میں آئی کہ ڈیٹرنٹ تیار ہو کتنے سال ہیں چوہتر پچھتر سے نیکل پیاسے تھے سال آر سال ہیں اور اس کے اندر کہاں غلام احساس خان انسٹیٹیوٹ آتا ہے کہ پانچ لوگ اس کام کے اندر پورے بات ہوئے تھے جب بھٹو صاحب نے شک کیا تھے بھٹو صاحب ان کے بعد زیادہ رب صاحب عبدالقریب خان صاحب ایک پریگیڈیر صاحب تھے جو سیکیورٹی کے ذمہ دار تھے جہاں پر یہ کام ہوتا تھا اور غلام احساس خان صاحب غلام احساس خان صاحب شاید گورنر سٹیٹ بینک تھے اس سوالے میں مجھے مجھے صحیح طرح سے یاد ہے مگر غلام صاحب صاحب خان صاحب اور پانچ لوگ تھے جن جو ذمہ دار تھے ساری سیکیورٹی کے حوالے سے اور پاکستان نے ایک بہت بڑا نام کہیے یعنی the sixth most populous country in the world financial resources اتنے نہیں مگر کیونکہ انٹلیکچول کام تھا تو کر کے دکھا دیا یہ چیز مجھے کانفیڈنس دیتی ہے کہ پاکستان کے اندر وہ انٹریکٹ موجود ہے کہ بہت بڑے کام کر سکے انٹریکٹ کی دنیا ہے یہ یہ ریسورسز کی دنیا نہیں 
यही भी सोच दूसरा मैं आपको मिसाल दूर बहुत सारी मिसालें मेरे पास मैं दूसरी मिसाल ताजा दूंगा कि जब ये कोविड आया जिसके अंदर आपके तालीम का अंदाज भी बदला सब कुछ उस कोविड के अंदर ये हुआ कि हुकूमत ने खासतौर पर प्राइम मिनिस्टर साहब को हैरान हुआ प्राइम मिनिस्टर साहब ने यह तय किया कि विशाल उन्होंने बिछाई इंसानी हदल नहीं की कंपैशन और विशाल क्या था विशाल ये थी कि टोटल लॉकडाउन नहीं करेंगे क्योंकि गरीब भूखा मर जाए चाइना के अंदर तो इतना है ना टोटल लॉकडाउन तो जेल हो रही है हमारी जेलों में सुलाफ है जेल तो हमारी भी गहरी होनी चाहिए तो जेल में हमारी खाली तो लिहाजा टोटल लॉकडाउन की तरफ हम जा नहीं सकते थे बड़ा लोगों ने कहा अरे टेलीविजन भरा हुआ था कि जी लोग मर जाएंगे लोग सड़कों पर मरेंगे अगर आपने टोटल लॉकडाउन नहीं मगर ये अच्छा अब मैं तो बात कर रहा हूँ क्या सही है फिर उस विशाल के ऊपर यह हुआ कि एहसास प्रोग्राम के ख्याल किया जाए आप सब लोगों ने मदद की होगी लोगों से सब लोग पूरी डेटा की बुनियाद पर स्मार्ट डिसीजन लेगी की बुनियाद पर आपने कोविड को पीछे रखा और आपका पड़ोसी में देखो यही मैं कह रहा हूं स्मार्ट अच्छा डिसीजन लेगी आपकी जिंदगी में बड़ी अहमियत रखता है अच्छा डिसीजन अल्लाह तला से दुआ करते रहो कि खुद सोचो अकल इस्तेमाल करो फिर अल्लाह पर छोड़ो अल्लाह से गाइडेंस करो कि सही डिसीजन लो एक सी बीमारी एक सी नस्लें एक मुल्क हमारा पड़ोसी जिसके पास बहुत पैसा है और एक हम एंड वी परफॉर्म हा मच बेटर क्योंकि इंटरनेट की बैटरी थी इसमें रिसोर्स तो थे ही नहीं हमारे पास रिसोर्स की बैटरी इंटरनेट तो लिहाजा मैं समझता हूं कि उस इंटरनेट की बैटरी में पाकिस्तान आगे बढ़ रहा है इसकी माइक्रो इकोनॉमी बेहतर हुई ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस बेहतर हुआ माइक्रो इकोनॉमी बेहतर हो रही है रोजी बढ़ रही है हर एक बासी इंडिकेटर आ रहे हैं कि ये कौन अपना रुख बदल चुकी है ये मैं इस बात की आपको बताना चाहता था और इसके अंदर एट द इंटरनेशनल लेवल क्यादत अहमियत रखती है मेरे नबी सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम ने उसी कौम को जो इनफिशन थी जालिम थी जुल्म करती थी एक्सप्लॉय करती थी उसको क्या दिया अल्लाह का पैगाम दिया और उसके साथ साथ एक क्या क्यादत जिसमें इनके सारी थी जिसमें मोहब्बत भी थी जिसके अंदर उनका रवैया भी था हर शख्स महसूस करता था कि सबसे ज्यादा मोहब्बत मेरे नबी को मुझसे है जबान के बहुत ही खूबसूरत अंदाज हमारी जबान को हरकाल कह दिया ये अखलाक जो है ये बड़ी अहमियत रखता है कौमे बनने बनाने के लिए और उन्होंने कौम बना दिया लिहाजा मैं आपसे ही कह रहा हूँ ये चीजों को अहमियत दें अपनी जिंदगी के अंदर तो मुझे पूरा यकीन है कि आप सब लोग मिलकर हम सब लोग मिलकर पाकिस्तान को अगले पांच दस साल के अंदर एटॉमिक डिटरेंट के अंदर हमें आठ साल लगे मैं समझता हूं कि इंटरनेट की बैटरी उससे कम अरसे में हम कामयाबी हासिल कर सकते उससे कम अरसे में ये बहुत बड़ा प्रेडिक्शन मैं कर रहा हूं पर आपके चेहरे पे देखता हूं तो मुझे ये करने के लिहाजा मैं आपसे अब गुलाम साहब खान इंस्टीट्यूट से दरखास्त करना चाहता हूँ ये तो तलबा से कुछ आपको उम्मीद लाएगा तो घंटों पाकिस्तान के ऊपर बात कर सकता हूँ मेरा मेरा दिल जो है और मेरा दिमाग जो है और आप तो के साथ इतनी गहरी बात इसलिए तो आप बेहतरीन तलबा और बेहतरीन ग्रेजुएट पैदा करें आपका फुटप्रिंट बड़ा होना चाहिए बढ़ना चाहिए इंस्टीट्यूट आपके पास तालीमी जराए आपके पास इसको अच्छा इस वक्त तो आसान है आपके पास पहले आप किसी को फोन करके बात बताते थे अब ग्रुप्स के अंदर आप व्हाट्सएप के अंदर आप हजारों को लोगों को बात बता देते तो टूल्स आ गए ना अब आपके पास जब टूल्स मेरे पास आ गए तो वो टूल्स आप ही समझते 
अपना एक फुटप्रिंट तालीम के अंदर बढ़ाए ये ब्रिक एंड मॉडल की यूनिवर्सिटी भी कर्म साधन की मेहमान है इंफॉर्मेशन जो है वो आप दुनिया में मौजूद है क्लाउड्स पर मौजूद है कम्युनिकेशन क्लाउड्स पर मौजूद है सारे लेक्चर अब क्लाउड्स पर मौजूद होंगे ये जो फिजिकल एनवायरनमेंट है तालीम का ये तो बहुत बदल रहा है आप पहचान आप लीडर हैं इस काम में आप लोगों को पहचानना पड़ेगा दुनिया जो करे आप लोगों से आगे बढ़ना पड़ेगा ये एनवायरमेंट इस बात की आपको मौका दे रहा है कि आप एक अनोखे फैसले करते हैं ऑनलाइन लर्निंग को कितना अकोमोडेट करें क्या आप नंबर जोड़ रहे पाकिस्तान को जरूरत है नंबर की हमारी यूथ बल जो है वो यूथ बर्डन बन जाएगा अगर हमने इसको तालीम नहीं दी और यही यूथ बल जो है ये जब मैं जापान गया प्राइम मिनिस्टर से मिला तब उनके उनके मुंह में पानी आता है इस बात को सुनकर के हमारा यूथ बल कितना बड़ा है मगर फिलहाल हम क्या करते हैं सिर्फ बेसिक लेबर लगाते हैं The youth bulk should be contributing intellectually, और ज्यादा टाइम नहीं लगता आप पढ़ाई आपके पास अगर दस हजार परिवार आते हैं दाखिले के लिए और आप उन चंद सौ को या चंद हजार को देते हैं पढ़ाई जिस तरह से भी पढ़ाई मेरी आपसे एक तो गुजारिश ये थी कि इस काम को करें दूसरी बात मैं आपसे कहना चाहता हूँ और फिर अपनी गुस्सू को इंतजार पर ले जाऊंगा कि दूसरे इंस्टीट्यूशन की भी सिस्टर इंस्टीट्यूशन बनाइए जो अच्छा मशहूर गाड़ी बन जाता है तो उसको उसके इल का वो भी रिक्वायरमेंट होता है दूर दूर तक पहुंच जाए कहाँ कहाँ तक पहुंच जाए तो मैं आपसे यही कह रहा हूँ कि आपका इल बड़ी दूर दूर तक जाना चाहिए कहाँ कहाँ तक पहुंचना चाहिए और उसके साथ साथ उन इंस्टीट्यूशन की भी आप मदद करें वॉल्टरली पिकअप करें इंस्टीट्यूशन को मुख्तलि सूबों में पिकअप करें जिसका आप हाथ पकड़कर पूरी पकड़कर उसको कामयाबी के रास्तों की तरफ ला सकते हैं तो मैं आप सब लोगों का शुक्रिया अदा करता हूँ जो बातें मैंने आपके सामने रखी इसमें कसर होगी दिल में कोई कसर नहीं है कि कम से कम आप तक पहुंचाने की पूरी कोशिश कर लो लिहाजा अल्लाह ताला जिनको डिग्री मिली है अल्लाह ताला आपको जिंदगी में कामयाब करे और आपके खानदानों का आप शुक्र गुजार रहे हैं अपने मुल्क में शुक्र गुजार रहे हैं और गुलाम साहब खान इंस्टीट्यूट की मजीद तरक्की के लिए भी मैं दुआ हूँ शुक्रिया Honorable Chancellor, may I request to distribute the degrees to graduate and undergrad students at the campus by the executive director, so as and director chair. On the recommendation of the rector, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor of Ghulam Isa Khan Institute of Engineering Sciences and Technology. I authorize Executive Director Saprest and Director GIK Institute to distribute remaining degrees to graduate and undergraduate students at the campus. Thank you. Thank you. Photograph. Yes, sir. First with the faculty, and then with the gold medalists and the uh, GIK students. Sir, as soon as you close, close the conversation. Close the conversation. Would she ask, or should I close it anyway? May I request Honorable Chancellor to declare today's convocation closed and allow us to have a photograph with him outside this hall first with the faculty and then with the gold medalist and the scholars, please. I declare the convocation closed.
Deans and directors are requested to come forward.